What is going on, everybody? Welcome to a very exciting and a very anticipated From Screen to Shelf review. I am Chase, joined by my partner in crime, Will. He is fresh out. I am, I'd say, just under a day of marinating on the hotly and highly anticipated Terror Fire 3. Will, since you just got out, let us know. The world has been waiting. The world has been on the edge of their seats to know your thoughts, sir. What are your thoughts on Terrifier 3? Uh, yeah, a lot of thoughts, actually. So initial thoughts, probably one of the most violent movies I think I've ever seen in a movie theater uh, with an audience. Yeah. Uh, in fact, <laughs> yeah. definitely crossed some lines with this one, which, mm. you know, for people that are going into this looking for that, it's I don't see how this doesn't deliver on that front. Yeah. Um extremely violent uh just depraved really <laughs> yeah <laughs> in some cases um you know that that scene in uh terrifier 2 the bedroom scene you know i remember everybody talking about that one when it was released like jesus it's just so dark and just twisted and uh this movie just kind of takes that ball and uh it it doesn't just run with it it, it fucking sprints like <laughs> it, it, it's uh yeah if you're going into this purely for like gore and, and bloodshed and uh, just, I don't know, just the, the, the bleak, like depravity of some of these kills, um, I don't see how you're going to be disappointed in this movie. So, yeah. Um, that being said, I liked it overall. I don't know if I liked it as much as two. I think two just really was such a huge leap from the first film for me personally. Yeah. Uh, and, and there were some things about this movie, like once I got past the kills and just how audacious they were and just how ballsy some of them were, um, I, I, I feel like there's more to be desired here. And, uh, a lot of people are going to come after me for this. Mm. Uh, I'll, I'll have art, the clowns, you know, protesting at my, uh, my residence. <laughs> I'm sure once this video drops, um, I know there's a lot of hype behind this movie, but I, I feel slightly underwhelmed. With like the plot. I'll, I'll yeah, I feel the plot was lacking. I, I think that's my main yeah. thing. Uh, and I, I think there were some things that they really tried to focus on more so than the plot, which I totally understand because somebody told me, I was talking to a friend that I'd seen this with, uh, you know, just a moment ago before I got in the car here. And, you know, he said that he read that people online when Terrifier 2 came out were complaining because it focused too much on plot and story. I mean, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> I've talked about movies like Hostel, like those <clears throat> films that are just meant to just gross people out. There, there's really no plot to them. I, I don't care for that, you know. And yeah. the first Terrifier for me, I'll be completely honest, everybody. It was it was not lacking. engaging, mm -hmm. lacking uh, in many aspects. Um, and I know it has its fans, you know, and I, uh, and I respect people that like it, you know, if, if you can find something to, to like it, uh, or to like about it, then that's great. I think terrifier two to me was like, it's like one of those moments where it's almost like a top gun maverick where I just did not expect it to be as good as it was after seeing that first movie terrifier two blew me away. I loved everything about it. I love the soundtrack. I love that there seemed to be a, a very delicate balance between the the just pure evil wickedness and debauchery of Art the Clown and just how sadistic he is uh, as an entity, right? As a as a character, uh, as a villain, so to speak. And you have this um, antithesis of that with Sienna's character. Mm -hmm. You know, and there, there's a balance there. And I feel that that story uh, culminated much better. I felt that the climax of Terrifier 2 was earned. Uh, yeah. And I got much more of a payoff with that final confrontation. And that and that final battle in Terrifier 2, like that was like. That was raw, you know, that was that was rough. That was rugged. That was hard to watch at times. Um, this movie's hard to watch at times because it's pushes a lot of the kills much further than I think anybody probably expected. But they don't feel earned. Um, and, and the final 
conflict, like the final confrontation isn't really much of a confrontation. And it, it just kind of a letdown for me. I was kind of expecting more. I really wanted yeah. Sienna to have her moment to really go toe to toe um, with art. And we didn't really get that. You know, we got it briefly. Yeah. It just kind of felt like, oh, that was it. And then the movie kind of wrapped yeah. up. And uh, mm. that's kind of what it felt like for me. What about you? I wouldn't really disagree with almost anything that you said. I think I was a little bit more forgiving. There were some like logical moments where it was like, I just had to keep reminding myself, throw it out. <laughs> you know what I yeah. mean? Stop overthinking that. Um, especially right. in the final 10, maybe 15 minutes. I, it went by pretty fast, but it could have been extending 15 minutes. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, I can agree. One thing I will give credit to this one is this one is much better paced than two, like by a mile, I think so. you know? Yeah. Like, that I agree with it, it's just it's just go 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 and whenever you do get the plot moments you get these dialogue it's actually rather engaging and it just feels structured better um mm. terrifier 2 as much as i adore a lot of it i really think it's because i adored the last 30 minutes and the more mm. mythical magical elements that they introduced in that one at that point yeah. right mm. um this one lacks a little bit of that one uh, or a little bit of that in the department in regards to that's kind of what i was expecting <laughs> you know with the build up yeah. and stuff I'm I'm ultimately happy with what we got. I think it's really, really cool the route that they went where it's like they're constantly reminding you like, hey, if you're overthinking this or you think that we're trying to be realistic, forget it, you know, mm -hmm. and I really respect that. And I really respect yeah. how they're trying to make art his his own thing. I really also do like how you do get just as much, if not a little bit more time with art as you do Sienna. And I, I think that's good, right? Because yeah. the director, Damien Leone, Leone or Leone, however you say it, he understands that people are in seats for Art the Clown, right? And I, I like Sienna's character. I think she's one of the more rather engaging mainline horror because I, I think it's safe to say that Terrifier is mainline horror at this point. You know, he's he's in freaking yeah. war zone. You know what I mean? So yeah, right. um, the thing is, is <sighs> like – Really, what I what I what, what I really want to say during this review is, if you're a fan of horror or slashers, more or less, even if you aren't a fan of like gore fest or like blood this blood that, you're missing out in what I would consider not necessarily a golden age, but a prime silver age of slashers and horror cinema, especially this year. We've had yeah. things like Strange Darlings. We had things like The Substance, not a slasher, but again horror. We've had things like Terrifier 3 that are really, really pushing what would be considered art house and even just homages to classics that came before them. There's just so much. Nature that's too. Yeah, in a violent nature, um, late night with the devil. Like we're just yeah. in a year of prime original content that wouldn't have been made even maybe five, eight years ago. That have been too risky. But now yeah. they're starting to understand this is what people want. This low budget that pushes the boundaries where you get creative with what you have and what you need. And I just I, I really think that this movie nails what it wants to do, which is shock mm. you, maybe even piss you off a little bit and get you talking about it. And this movie's doing yeah. that, you know, um, it's it's doing oh, yeah. really, really, really well right now. So it's it's extremely impressive. Um, I think this is probably a modern. Not necessarily masterpiece, but I think this is going to be a movie that 20, 30 years from now we will still be referencing whenever the next art, the clown comes out, not necessarily a new terrifier. Um, every series ends up stagnating at one point, but when we get somebody else with a vision that gets inspired from this 20, 30, 40 years from now, right? Just like Halloween, Jason, Freddy, um, it, it, it's just prime material right now. Like, um, there, there are some things, like you said, that I'm hung up on. It's just ultimately is so much better pace. Like in terrifier two, they had like 30 minutes. I would have cut out, but I, again, I loved the ending so much. So ultimately I enjoyed it. Wow. I was never bored. The theater was going wild. Like I've never seen a, yeah. an entire theater yeah. like leaned forward. Everybody was on the edge of their seat and it was crazy. And it had some really funny moments too. Like genuinely not just snort out of my nose and chuckle a little bit, but it actually made me laugh out loud uh, quite yeah. a few times. Um, so I had a good time with it, man. So um, on my score, man, I'd probably, I'd be pretty comfortable I was sitting at an 8.5 until a plot device happened that really just kind of was like, I know you're thinking of this and here's my explanation for it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, mm. I kind of bumped that up to a nine. I had a good time with right. this movie ultimately though. I really liked it a lot. I really liked the terrifier series as a whole. Ultimately I can forgive a lot of like the shortcomings of the movie, but I, I'm, I'm sitting, I was sitting at an 8.5, 
but after I kind of just was forgiving of some of the things, I mean, man, this is a classic. I got to give it a nine. This is a really good movie. It's not my favorite movie and it might not crack my top five, but it was really good. And it's been a really good year for horror in general. How are you feeling, Will? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's definitely not going to make my top five, but I still enjoyed it overall. I think that it's doing something, you know, unique. Uh, and the fact that, you know, I will say this, regardless of how I feel personally about this movie compared to the last one, um, I think it's creating a lot of conversation and dialogue, which is always a good thing, in my opinion. You know, I think that's healthy, especially for a movie like this to be generating, you know, uh, the buzz that it is uh, amongst you know, moviegoers, I, I think that's a, a great thing, you know, not only for horror, but just more independent, low budget cinema, because I think that now more than ever, we, we need more of that. You know, we need alternate creative voices to kind of be able to do what they want to do, you know, with their films. And yeah, this is a weird time where it's like, I never thought that Terrifier would be, you know, kind of like the phenomenon that it's become you know i don't know if we're, we can call it a phenomenon yet but i mean it's definitely yeah. getting more into the mainstream i mean you know we kind of talked about it amongst ourselves with you know art as far as branding and marketing i mean he's in spirit halloween stores he's you know kids are dressing up like him for halloween i mean that's there's something to be said for that. I don't know if those kids' parents are taking them to see this movie. <laughs> they might, you know, they they might think twice about that once it gets to uh, some certain points in this film. If I could give it a rating, I'd probably give it a three and a half out of five. And I gave, you know, I gave Terrifier 2 a four. You know, I, I just think for me personally, Terrifier 2 gave me a little more of what I was looking for. It's what I expected, but at the same time, it, it really did shock me. And, and there were some moments in this film, like the opening scene in particular was done very well. I mean, there's definitely yeah, moments it. of tension in this movie that are done very well. And it is unnerving because you don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Um, so you know what? I mean, kudos to Damien Leone or Leone and crew. I forget how, how to pronounce his name. But yeah, I mean, I, I think they have something here. It's not everybody's cup of tea and it's mm -hmm. not meant to be. This is going to appeal to a certain group of people and those people are going to be very satisfied. But there's going to be people that are questioning why this is as popular as it is. I don't know if I will be watching this movie movie again uh during the christmas season because it, it, it is a very dark movie even though you get those winks and nods from art it's some screwed up shit in this movie <laughs> yeah so i i get why they released it in october because i'm i'm curious how people would have reacted if this was like released like the week before christmas or something like that yeah. can you imagine no that's amazing man like i mean and it's supposed to apparently check out your local retailers this is slated for like i think a december 7th release date for physical media which i think is perfect because i was perfect wondering time. why it's coming out in halloween if it's christmas themed but that's probably wise to get the physical media sales and the holiday rush and holiday sales so yeah, yeah guys thank you so much for tuning in and stay tuned for some more out of theater reactions we've got we got phone will non-podcast will over here i'm sure he's uh, planning on doing some more <laughs> <laughs> reviews Ugly from the mug. car <laughs> <laughs> Ugly mug will for my fucking messy car outside of Showcase Cinemas. This is brought to you by Showcase Cinemas, by the way, everybody. <laughs> check out Terrifier 3 in theaters now. You don't want to miss it. <laughs> Go check it out, guys. It's worth your time. See you later. Later, guys. Later.